Um, do, you, do you think the risks of shockwave lithotripsy, the long-term risks such as diabetes and hypertension, uh, you know, are these overstated? So I, I think that, and this is something that, um, you know, very commonly patients now, you know, as soon as they understand that they have a stone, they're going to have treatment, that lithotripsy is among the treatment options, they'll go to the internet and, um, you know, right away as, as you do your internet search, you'll, you'll come up with these um, in the lay press discussions of hypertension and diabetes. Um, and I think that, um, you know, that there are two completely separate issues, the diabetes and the hypertension. Um, in my opinion, I think that um, the, the evidence may be slightly more compelling with the association of hypertension and, and shockwave lithotripsy, although certainly the literature is, um, is really, I don't think you could view it as definitive, um, but, um, but the, you know, that there may be a modest effect of shockwave lithotripsy on blood pressure, although it may not be clinically meaningful. I think the diabetes, although uh, certainly was a, a more uh, sensationalized um, in the late past when, when the reports were made detailing association, um, I think the evidence for that is far less compelling than for, uh, for hypertension. Um, and so the way I counsel patients is that, um, you know, our understanding of the literature is that the association between um, chocolate lithotripsy and hypertension is that there may be an association. Um, it likely is a dose-dependent relationship, meaning that if you have a single session of shockwave lithotripsy, there's unlikely to be an effect on blood pressure. You have many, many sessions over a long period of time that you may see an effect, but you know um, it, it may not be of any clean, clinical meaning. Um, and uh, with diabetes, I think that the, um, the literature is far less um, uh, well characterized. And at this point, I don't think that there's any real good evidence that um, shockwave lithotripsy causes diabetes, so I feel you know, comfortable about reassuring patients about that.